Hello, welcome to my review of the final episode of season two of The Mandalorian on Disney Plus, episode eight. Spoiler review. Okay, so here we go. This is my favorite episode of both seasons. I loved it. It has everything I wanted to see, all the action I want to see, all the heartfelt moment I want to see and did not expect, as well as um, the appearance of Luke. If there was a camera on me, you would have seen my mouth gaping, okay? In all honesty, I was like jaw dropping, huh? Uh, I was somewhat curious to see why Osoka is wearing the hood, you know, she, why bother? Or why does she need to? But I did not have any clue that it is going to be Luke. So when he lived, I only start to have inkling that it could not have been Osoka when he arrived in the room. Okay, because when he arrived in the room, and the moment that his hands is about to pull the cape off, I'm just like, who could this be? And even at that moment, I did not think it was Luke. I thought it would be another Jedi, somebody that we had seen in the past, maybe Obi-Wan. Yeah, I was like completely taken by surprise and pleasantly surprised. That was so well done, that moment, um, even the Mandalorian taking off his helmet to say goodbye to baby Yoda. Oh, wonderful, okay? And yes, we got to see a whole lot of the Dark Trooper. Awesome. Now, wouldn't the Dark Saber cut through those uh, Dark Trooper easily? Let me know for those that know more about that Saber because to me, I thought they were overly worried that they're going to not be able to fight against the Dark Trooper. But if you have that Dark Saber, it likely can cut through those things, right? That's one thing that I was curious about. The other thing that I was also curious about also relate to the Dark Saber, right? Now, sure, uh, Bo-Katan can't just take the Saber and assume power. And you don't have to fight to the death, okay? Because it's very obvious, unless it is, let me know if you have to fight to the death because I don't think that was mentioned. So if they were just winning a fight in order to get the saber, maybe she could just smack him, knock him down and take the saber, right? So there's a couple of little things that I was not clear on. So for those that understand more about Star Wars, for sure, put in the comment section and let me know why I have those questions and if you have the answer for those questions. Regardless, I like how season two wrapped up. Now, as far as season three, I have no idea where it is going, okay? Season one ended with the cliffhanger with the baby Yoda get taken away, but now he's rescued and, and go on training with the Jedi, I don't know what's next. I don't know. So it's an open book as far as season three. That's my review for the last episode of season two. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.